The studio started out as a cigar factory. It was purchased by a group from uh, Chicago called uh, Eagle Film City. And their concept was actually to build a little city over here. And so they found a good amount of land and this one building, the one that we're in, they wanted an out of the way place where they could get inexpensive land and where they could build as they wanted to. It didn't work out. Richard Norman was a young man raised in the Jacksonville area and he became enamored of the film industry early on. Went to college at Tampa for chemistry and for filmmaking. He went off to the Midwest and made uh, commercial films for the most part and uh, then came back to Jacksonville as the film industry was leaving Jacksonville. Bought this uh, facility from Eagle Film City in 1919 and then made eight films during the next uh, eight or nine years. The films that he made here at uh, Norman Studios were called race films. They were made specifically for African American audiences and they starred uh, African American casts. And why was this unique? Well, the era in that early 20s was uh, uh, emerging racism being codified actually. In these movies, he got they were adventure movies. They got to play uh, the good guys, the bad guys, the smart guys, the dumb guys, uh, the villains and the um, rich guys, the pilots like in Flying Ace, all the parts. And so therefore the audiences loved them because they got to see themselves as they were. Well, the Flying Ace is really if we had to only have one, it would be the one. It was filmed completely here. The others were all on location in other places, but this one was filmed completely on uh, either on this studio or in surrounding areas. It was inspired by um, Bessie Coleman, who was the first black uh, stunt pilot, female stunt pilot, and uh, they were corresponding to do a, a film about her life. She had seen The Bulldogger, which is the one about uh, Bill Pickett, and so they, we don't know whether they met or not, but they were corresponding. So she was killed in an accident when she was preparing for an air show. But because he was enamored of this whole concept of the pilot, uh, he decided he would make his own film. He set, the character was not a woman, it was um, a man, and he had him set in the First World War, which didn't have any black pilots. But in the film, the guy comes back from um, World War I as a hero and he goes to work for the railroad and he solves a big crime and there's some really great plane scenes. No plane ever leaves the ground, but I swear you believe it has. One of the really cool things about it that a lot of people don't realize is that some of the young boys who saw the film, you know, when it was, uh, when it was uh, making the rounds in the theaters, those guys were inspired to fly and some of them grew up to become some of the Tuskegee Airmen. One of the things that we're doing right now is uh, working out a contract, uh, an agreement with Old Arlington Inc. Uh, they are an organization that uh, their, their goal is really preserving the history of all of the Arlington area, including the Norman Studios. And they actually were our parent company uh, for a while until the Norman Studios got to be you know, such a big project that it was able to spin off uh, on its own. But we'll be partnering with them uh, to have some office space here and then we'll hopefully, you know, we the uh, restoring the buildings and the interiors and getting them ready to open as a museum and a film learning center and those kind of things, that will take a while and we're going to be doing it building uh, by building. But in the meantime, we're hoping to do a lot more outreach programs, a lot more silent film screenings, a lot more going into the schools and talking to the students. We get a, a lot of questions about, you know, are we looking for volunteers and we are always looking for volunteers. We're hoping to start doing a lot more events, a lot more uh, silent film screenings, uh, video projects, that kind of thing. So we're always looking for, uh, we're always looking for creatives, we're looking for business people that can help us with, uh, you know, really building up and, and, uh, and moving forward into fundraising and, and that kind of thing. And we definitely, definitely are looking for researchers. We're wanting people that can uh, go through uh, the archive newspapers, not just here in Jacksonville, but he had offices in Chicago. Uh, and you know his films, some of his films were done in Oklahoma. There's a lot of information we're sure that's still to be found about Bill Pickett and about the actors uh, that, uh, that were in the Norman film. So if you are interested in, in not just filming, but if you're interested in research, if you can you know, help us out um, business-wise, uh, we're always looking for volunteers uh, for doing things like that.